In today's lesson, we are going to look at these words here. That's complement with an I and complement with an E. Hi, I'm Neharika and I'm back with a new lesson for you. We have homophones. That's complement and complement. Well, homophones are the words that sound similar, but they mean different. And at times, the spellings are also different. So, in today's lesson, we are going to look at these words here. That's complement with an I and complement with an E. So, let's understand what's the difference and how you would end up using them. The reason because many people do get confused with these words, especially when it comes to writing. Well, because it's pronounced the same, so it might not matter. But when it comes to writing, you know that you have to write it correctly. So, let's learn what exactly it is. So, the word complement, that's with an I. Uh, it's associated with praise. It is a kind and a flattering remark. So, if someone comes and tells me, Wow, Neharika, you look beautiful today. So it means that he or she is complimenting me. So complimenting within with an I, okay? So if someone says, wow, look at your shoes, they're awesome. So it means that this person is complimenting you, right? So the word compliment is associated with praise or it's a very kind or a flattering remark that someone makes for you. So let's look at some examples so that you understand this much better. My compliments to the chef for such a wonderful soup. Now probably you are in a restaurant and you had some delicious soup. You really enjoyed it and your taste buds are quite happy. So now you would like to appreciate the chef for it. So you can say that my compliments to the chef for such a wonderful soup. Okay, it means that you really enjoyed your soup. You are praising the chef. Okay, so this is the way you would end up using the word compliment. Let's have a look at another example here. I would like to compliment the pilot for such a smooth landing or for such a smooth flight. I'm sorry. So, I would like to compliment, now again, you are using the word compliment with an I. So you are again making a flattering comment for the pilot because you really enjoyed your flight, okay? It was very smooth without any turbulence and you thought that pilot did a great job, then you are complimenting him. So the right word that you would end up using is compliment with an I. So I would like to compliment the pilot for such a smooth flight. Okay, so hope you got this. Now let's have a look at the word compliment that's with the letter E. Okay, now it's pronounced the same. Okay, as I said that these words are homophones. They're pronounced in a similar manner. However, the spelling is a little different and the meaning is different. So let's understand what does the word compliment mean here. Now compliment is an expression used to enhance something. So something that goes well with something. So that's compliment. Now to understand this, let's have a look at the example here. The tie is a perfect complement to the shirt, which means that this tie that I'm talking about goes very well with the shirt, okay? So it goes very well. So something that enhances something or something that goes very well with something, that is when you end up using the word Compliment. Okay, let's look at another example. The cashew nuts 
were an excellent complement for the soup. So probably you had some soup wherein it was topped up with some cashew nuts and you thought it was a great idea and you also thought that it went very well and of course it tasted delicious. So here you are saying that the cashew nuts were an excellent complement for the soup. So it went very well or probably it enhanced the taste of the soup. Okay, so that's the reason why you are using the word complement with an with E. Okay, now I would just like you to make a note of something. Now we learned that complement is a praise or it's a kind flattering remark. Whereas here this complement is, you know, to enhance something, is used to enhance something. But... We also use the word complement for good wishes or for regards or respect. Okay, so you might have come across people saying, hey, compliments of the season to you. So they are good wishes. They're wishing you something good. They are wishing you for a nice Christmas or a nice New Year. So it's compliments of the season. So when you use that, you end up using the word compliment with an I. Okay, so please do keep this in mind. So it's used for wishes, regards and respect. All right. Now, whereas the word compliment is also used for something else. Well, what it is, it's used for a full crew or a composition or a set. A set or a full crew. Now, to understand this, uh, if you look at the example here, do you have a full complement of men for your mission? So, which means that do you have a set of men for your vision, mission, like a full crew for your mission? So, when you use this, you end up, when you, you're trying to say this, when you are talking about a full crew or a composition or a set, you end up using the word complement with an E, okay? So, hope you got it right. Now, probably to understand this better, you can also take a test. Let me know how much do you score and I'll be back with a new lesson. Till then, you take care.